Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to another Fit Friday vlog. What is up, y'all? It is obviously a new day, a new week. We are here with another vlog. Y'all, you already know I have been on my 25 Days to Fitness Challenge. If you guys did not know what that what that is, is basically at the beginning of December, I decided that I was going to be doing a challenge for myself where I literally work out every day until Christmas, AKA fitness, the 25th. So that's exactly what I've been doing. I've been checking in every day on Instagram, um, just post on my Instagram story, showing like little clips of my workouts and things like that. Uh, but I honestly feel so good, y'all. I think this was one of the best decisions that I could have made going into the new year. Just because I feel like I'm getting a head start on 2021. I don't know, because I know by the end of the, the month, I'm gonna be in just like a, like a healthier place. And I feel like I'm going to reach my goal weight. Just, you know, to where that I'm starting at at the beginning of the year. So I honestly am so, I just feel good, y'all. And I think it's a mixture of obviously me working out, you know, you feel more energized, better. Um, just overall when you work out and you take care of your body. But I also think it's just from me sticking with it. And you know how when you have a goal and you like check it off your list and you just keep checking, keep checking your to-do list, it feels good. And the fact that I've so far been working out every day um, since the beginning of December and haven't missed a day at all, I feel good. And I'm proud of myself, I am. Of course, we are still counting down. We still have about a week, a little over a week to go, I believe. So, you know, we're still going at it, but I know a lot of y'all had DM me on Instagram because y'all were like, what's the challenge, did I miss something? And it's okay if you guys did not miss it or if you guys did not catch it this time, Obviously, you can hop back in. It's never too late to go to the gym. But I think I'm, I'm thinking about doing something similar in January. So we'll see. But um, yeah, y'all, 25 Days to Fitness has literally been <sighs> the best thing, okay? So right now, you already know what time it is when I'm here in this kitchen. I'm about to get my pre-workout. I'm about to get to the gym. I honestly, a couple days ago, I had went to the gym and I did not have my pre-workout, like I accidentally forgot it here. And y'all, I was like tired. I was not focused like that. And my energy was just lower than obviously it usually is when I have my pre-workout. And it made me kind of feel like, mm, I don't know if I should be taking my pre-workout every day with my workout because I don't know, I just didn't like the difference that I felt in when I had my pre-workout versus when I did it because obviously I don't wanna be dependent on a pre-workout for a good workout. So I think I'm gonna start doing my pre-workout like every other day for now when I go to the gym, just because I did not like that feeling. Like I was not as focused. I feel like I was getting tired, you know, more easy, easily. So yeah, I did not like that at all, but that's okay. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna head to the gym today. I feel like every time I come on here, it's always some type of leg day or something like that, or full body day. Honestly, full body has been my thing. Again, that's really all that I've been focusing on is incorporating just various body parts throughout my workouts throughout this month because I know that I wanted to kind of tone and sculpt my body in general just all over. Arms, legs, core, booty hamstrings, calves, like all of it. So full body has been my thing. I haven't been necessarily doing like a split to where I'm doing legs on Monday, back and shoulders on Tuesday, booty on Wednesday. You know, I haven't been doing that. I plan on getting back into that at the beginning of January, um, just heading into the new year. Cause I feel again, like I'll be in a good place so right now it's just been cardio, full body, abs. I've honestly been doing abs pretty much almost every day for at least at least five minutes. 
so i'm feeling good about that y'all i'm just i just feel so good and if y'all have been doing the challenge with me definitely like tag me on instagram send me some instagram stories so i can add them to the highlight y'all know i do have the instagram highlight to where if you have missed the challenge you can go in there and watch it and catch up and just see like little things that have occurred like the main points of the fitness challenge um so yeah also y'all so i mentioned these on my instagram story but y'all i got these cute blender like protein shaker bottles from target for three dollars y'all i mean do y'all see these colors they're like pastel colors they have so many different colors at target in their little dollar spot section but when i saw these i was like are you kidding me i was expecting them to at least be five dollars but no girl they were three dollars so definitely definitely if you are looking for a new protein bottle then go ahead and check out target they're a pretty nice size like definitely enough to fit your protein in there y'all see it has the measurements on the side and then they also have the little metal um like shaker ball in there as well so listen don't ever say i don't be telling y'all stuff because y'all definitely need to go to your target see if they have these i know me i do have some actually no i don't i think i threw away my protein bottle that i did have but it was just like basic generic i need another one but if you have protein bottles i still recommend y'all still go to target and get these because girl three dollars and these colors yes perfect so i'm actually gonna go ahead and um i mean i'm not gonna take this with me because i usually drink protein workouts or protein shakes after the gym but if i could i could definitely just hook that on my gym bag and how freaking cute
I just got home. We ended up getting this treadmill from someone. They were selling it for like $130. And it's just the basic one. It's nothing fancy at all. It just gets the job done. And it was only $130. So we ended up getting this. And then Russell has his um, boxing bag. So we put that there. Obviously this probably won't stay like this but for the time being it'll work y'all know y'all have seen this i actually had this stuff at the apartment so got our um, little medicine ball here that little glute um, band that i got from five below some resistant bands actually got a little turban wrap up in here i need to get that out got our dumbbells um some weight plates step ups push-up grippers thingies <laughs> an ab roller got this thing to do more push-ups and ab workouts on honestly if we can't make it to the gym we at least have somewhere now to where we can just go ahead and work out in here and get our workout done so i just posted a like instagram story where i was basically comparing my day one of this fitness challenge to day 18 and i can definitely i had mentioned that i do for sure see a difference in my core and like my arm de definition and leg definition, I feel like my legs are definitely more toned. Um, I'm still debating if I wanna continue to work out every day in December and just carry it out, or if I just wanna stop at on the 25th, aka fitness, and just get back to my regular routine of working out like four four times a week. But I don't know, it's like now it's become a habit for me. So I don't, I don't wanna stop, you know, cause the, moment, the momentum is there. So I don't wanna stop it while it's rolling. You know what I'm saying? And while I'm actually in the groove and in the habit of working out. But y'all, I definitely, definitely can see some differences. If y'all are wondering, I have sh like worn these before in the vlog, but these are from Fabletics. Um, I got these a while, while back, but you know a lot of y'all are new some of y'all haven't seen them and yeah if you want to know these are from fabletics i also have a like purple royal blue pair that i also got from them it comes in a set it actually has a top a long sleeve top crop top that matches it but yeah they're both from fabletics i haven't really gotten anything from fabletics lately but i do still love these pants let me go ahead and wash these hands girl they are dirty even though i use hand sanitizer at the gym you know how they get that y'all know you still have that like little film on there so let me get that off but again i need something quick so what i'm about to have is my go-to when i need something quick which is basically my protein oatmeal so i'm gonna go ahead and get a bowl and I guess I can go ahead and show y'all how I make this because it's so simple. I know I've showed y'all before, but sometimes like I include stuff in the vlogs or a lot of times really. The stuff that I do is within the vlogs and y'all, some of y'all haven't seen all the vlogs. So let me just go ahead and show y'all again in case y'all missed it. I go ahead and I put me half a scoop of the quick oats. These are from HEB. The serving size is half a, half a cup, sorry. Half a cup, so that's what I put in there. And then I go ahead, I go ahead and I do, let me actually shake this up. I do one cup of this unsweet almond milk which is the silk almond milk, um, the 30 calorie one. So I like to do a cup of this in here. And I mean, you can just eyeball it, but I usually find if I do the right measurements, <laughs> it comes out right for me. So once I have that, I just go in and stir it up. And it honestly just looks like that. <laughs> so that's how that looks, literally looks like Nothing. I'm gonna put that in the microwave for, I usually, 
I usually set it to a minute and a half, but I'll leave it in there for like 30 seconds before I add my scoop of protein powder. And we use the GOAT standard 100% whey protein. It's in the vanilla ice cream flavor. One scoop has four grams of carbs and 24 grams of protein, one gram of fat, and it's 120 calories. So, it's about time for me to get the protein out or get the oatmeal out. Then I go in here. I get me a good, good scoop, level scoop. Boom, boom, boom. A protein, and I just literally put that whole scoop up in there. I don't know if that was a full scoop, so I'm just gonna put a little more. Then I just stir it up, literally. And at first, you're gonna be like, girl, what is this? Cause it looks, it looks weird. I'm not gonna lie, the consistency of it looks weird. But I like putting protein powder in my oatmeal because it makes it sweet. So I don't have to add sugar or anything because I cannot just eat protein or eat oatmeal just with water and throw some fruit in there. That does not work for me. I've tried like stevia. I've tried natural sweetener. I've tried so many different things to try to get it to taste good. Cinnamon and it just does not, it just does not, doesn't taste good to me. So this is the pretty much the only way I can eat it without putting sugar in there, which obviously is the goal. So by the time I finish stirring it up, it looks like that. And y'all see there's still some chunks of protein in there, but by the time it actually finishes, you know, microwaving and everything, those will pretty much be gone. So I'm about to put this back in the microwave for about a minute and then we honestly will be done with this. It's so important to fuel up after your workout, especially me because I typically do my workouts fasted, meaning I don't eat anything beforehand. Honestly, I've tried before to eat before my workouts and it just, I don't know, I actually prefer working out fasted. It just works better for me and I feel lighter. I honestly feel more energized in the gym. I don't feel weighed down. I mean, I've tried having like a light pre-workout snack, even just eating something as simple as a banana and I still prefer to work out completely fasted and then just fuel up immediately after. And obviously, you know, that method is not for everybody. If you are someone who needs to eat, if you get lightheaded in the gym, listen to your body, do what works for you. Um, but for me, working out pretty much on an empty stomach and just having my pre-workout is definitely a go. And I keep taking this out and stirring it because I don't want to overcook it. Sometimes I overcook it. A lot of times I overcook it. And I still like it to have some, like I don't want it too, too thick, you know? Okay, so this is how it looks. Honestly, it does not look good, but trust me y'all, it actually is good. Trust me, okay? It actually is. I'm a picky eater, so just trust me. Just try it. Don't ignore how it looks, because it looks a hot mess right now but it is good. I saw this little, like little hack on TikTok when it comes to Oreos. If y'all know I love Oreos, love, love, love Oreos. I do not restrict Oreos from my diet because I love them, I know myself, so balance, okay? But I saw this recipe, or not recipe, it's more like a, a little hack. So you're supposed to get a double stuffed Oreo and put some milk in a straw and like blow up the cream filling. So we're gonna try it out. So let me see. Okay, so you're supposed to stuff the straw in the Oreo. Mm. Wow, that was actually a fail. <laughs> Let me try it again. Maybe I didn't put. Mm. Mm. 
Okay, well I got some cream filling up in there, so. Let me try again. Put the straw in the Oreo filling and Well, that was a fail. It's supposed to make the filling fill up super big, but it didn't work. So that was a fail. Now I'm embarrassed. Bye. <laughs> Honestly, y'all, next week, I promise, I pinky promise, I'm gonna do a much better job of vlogging because honestly this week I did not. I can I can accept the blame on that one because I did not do a good job of vlogging this week. And I said this last week as well. I've been forgetting to pick up the camera. Like I've been forgetting to bring my camera with me to the gym. And I need to get it together because above all, Fit Friday, this is what like this is what we started out with pretty much. So I know I don't wanna like, you know. I want to make sure y'all getting content pretty much okay so next week i'm going to do a much better job of vlogging um i also want to thank y'all so so much for just all the comments y'all always leave me for all the support all the encouragement i am so glad that y'all love the videos i'm so glad that y'all get inspiration from the videos because y'all getting inspiration inspires me to keep going and I just love it. I honestly, I see the comments. I do, y'all. <sighs> y'all know the struggle with me in the comments. Lately, I just have not been able to like really just get to them like I want to. But I do see them and I thank y'all so, 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 so much. Especially y'all that always comment, that are always down there, that are always like the first ones to comment on the videos. I thank y'all so, so, so much. I've been seeing some questions about my height, my bra size things like that and I don't have no problem sharing it with y'all. I actually think I've shared that before, but I am 5'6". I know a lot of people think I'm taller than I am. I know some people are like, I thought you were like 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, Girl, no. <laughs> I'm 5'6". I like to throw a half on there, but I am 5'6". Actually, no, I think I'm 5'7", y'all. My bra size, honestly, I need to get measured for that as well because I feel like it has changed. But I have been a 38C and that's pretty much what my boobs are. <laughs> um, sometimes, depending on the bra, it's like a 38C, 38D. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I need to get size. So yeah, just that's just what I have now. 38C is what I wear. So we're just gonna go with that. It's probably different, but that's what I wear. I'm typically, um, like I get my sports bras in a medium because they fit me better. They give me more support. Largest fit, but they don't give me a support, as much support as I like. So that's pretty much that. Also y'all, I've got some questions on how I stay motivated, how, you know, I've been able to kinda you know, stay on track throughout this whole journey. Y'all been seeing my fitness journey from the very beginning. Y'all have seen my setbacks, y'all seen my downfalls, y'all seen my accomplishments, you know, me hitting goals, hitting numbers, things like that. Um, and y'all know my journey is not perfect. This challenge for me, this 25 days to fitness challenge was basically just a restart because I got to the point where, and I think I've told y'all this before, but you have to get to the point where you you really ask yourself what is it that you want what is it that you see for yourself when you see you know your idea of success how does that look for you you know mind body soul career rise like what does success mean for you and i know for me personally um a part of like an aspect of the success that i want for myself is me being my best self physically um, me being in the best shape that I can be, me taking care of my body. And I knew that how I was like pretty much have been going, um, where I work, you know, work out consistently some weeks, some weeks I'm off a bit, 
some weeks I eat good, some weekends I overdo it, and then it's just like this up and down. I knew that that is not going to get me to that idea of success when it comes to my body that I see for myself, you know? And you have to ask yourself, like, is what you're doing right now, the steps that you're taking every day, is that pushing you towards your goal or is it taking you away from your goals? And I know for me personally, I mean, I'm only getting older and wiser and finer and better, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not getting younger and I know what I want for myself. I know that eventually, God willing, I'll, you know, we'll want to start a family and have kids and I want to be the best version of myself that I can for my kids. So I think for me, the main thing that pushes me is I constantly keep like an image in my head of what I want, you know? And I know that I'm not there yet. And until I'm there, I'm gonna keep going. I'm not going to stop. I tell y'all all the time, it does not matter how many setbacks you have. It does not matter how many times you have to start over. The main thing is to keep going, to keep pushing. You fall off a week, pick it back up the next week. Like it is, nobody says that your journey has to be perfect. If you're expecting perfection on a fitness journey or just with anything in life, it's not gonna happen. And you're constantly going to be putting yourself in a position to where you're unhappy with where you are because you're not achieving that level of perfection that is just really not attainable. Like perfection is not, there's always something that could be better, that, that could be improved upon, you know? So I think what it is, is that just keep going, y'all. That is literally the main thing. Do not stop. Do not give up on yourself. If you know you want to lose weight, you want to hit a number on the scale, then don't stop. Keep going until you hit that. Don't give up on yourself. Don't try to take the easy way out because a lot of times people like to do like fat diets and things like that. Okay, that's great for short, short term if that's what you want to do. But when you're actually putting in the work, when you're actually get, making yourself go to the gym every day, making yourself make better eating you know, um, choices every single day, you're building character. You're building discipline. You're just building the overall morale within yourself. And I think that's something that is most important because when you gain a discipline in one area of your life, it starts to carry over into multiple areas of your life, your career, you know, how you are with your family, like you, you discipline with your goals, you know? So I think a fitness journey, health, health wellness journey, it's really about, you know, not trying to take the easy way out. Actually putting in the work. Just really putting in the work, y'all. That, that's really what it is. Putting in the work. And those small steps that you make every single day, y'all, they will add up. And I think I said this in the last vlog. They will add up. Keep going. Don't be so down on yourself. Obviously, if you are starting your fitness journey, hop away step away from the scale put the scale away because that will also cause you to go crazy okay because one week you could be up next week you could be down next week you could be up and it's put the scale away also to y'all know yourself i know myself i like to eat okay i like to work out but i like to eat i like to eat junk food if i'm being completely honest i like sweets i like chocolates i like things like that so knowing myself, I'm not going to completely cut those out of my diet because I know if I get just a, a taste of it, I'm going to overdo it and I'm going to binge because I've restricted myself from having them for so long. And that's how you set yourself up for failure. If you like to eat junk food, if you like to eat fries, if you know this about yourself, don't restrict those from your diet because you don't like your fitness journey should not be boring. It should not feel like a job. You should not dread it. And if you're not having fun with it, if you're not, you know, taking moments to indulge and live a little bit, you're not going to last long term. You're not going to stick with it. So I don't restrict myself from eating things that I'm really craving. Obviously, it's about balance. You want to still eat those things in moderation. You don't want to overdo it. But I don't restrict 
food groups or carbs or sweets from my diet. I know I love those things. And yes, it's not good, it's not the best, but me having my two Oreos a day or, <laughs> Not a day, not a day, not not a day. Sometimes it's a day, but not a day recently. Um, but me having my, you know, Oreos, that keeps me going, y'all, because I'm not restricting them from my diet. And it allows me to let loose and still feel like um, I have freedom with my choices, with my eating, with working out, things like that. So don't restrict yourself at all. Um, unless that's just something you really wanna do. Keep going, don't stop, don't stop, okay? Just don't stop. You will get results, you see, will see results, they will come. Small changes every single day, they'll add up to, into big changes. And again, you will see results. So I know y'all, I know this vlog, don't come for me, I hope y'all still got something from this vlog. I'm gonna do better next week, I promise, pinky, pinky promises, but I will see y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.